time for the MCTS experience with Mr. Orr and Mr. Nash. Discover your passion and unlock your future. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, a mini episode of the MCTS experience coming your way today and uh, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of good stuff on the docket. Um, Mr. Nash, happy uh, happy Halloween. Happy fall. Happy fall. I love the fall. That's, it's my favorite the time term. of the year. Yes. Favorite time of the year. Me too. So so students are on uh, all over the place uh, on our campuses today with costumes. Uh, we had a door decorating contest. Congratulations to uh, Mr. The Birdsall. Hort- Horticulture and Turf Care Management class uh, and the great Ed Birdsall for uh, for winning the uh, decoration contest. contest. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what else is going on in your world, Mr. Nash? What are you seeing out there uh, among the among the community, among the school, among the students? Well, I mean, we, we're seeing a tremendous upsurge in students going out on CIE. I'm filling out at least one, if not one to four folders a week about kids going out on uh, career-based internships that are paid. I just toured a uh, automated production uh, facility that makes polymer containers for the medical industry. And it's right up on Upper Ferry Road. And they're seeking second shift uh, employees from our any one of our programs. So, you know, that's the neat thing about it is sometimes students do co-op during school days. And then sometimes we can facilitate positions that correlate directly to their career based area of study outside of school hours. And we still connect those dots and land those planes. Absolutely. So that's one of them. Um, that's right around the corner, up a ferry road. Oh, that's, it, uh, that's that's in our backyard. I, to, I they, they want they're in such need of talent that they are willing to hire second shift, 18 and older, of course. And obviously not for high school students, but they're going to get a third shift going. So it's very exciting. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, my God. We just forgot to say hi to the great. Oh, my God. Wait, Nick MacGyver Sikowski. He's the man, the myth, the legend, yeah. everybody. He's got his Viking sweatshirt on. If you obviously you can't see him because you guys are listening. Once again, no mic, but he is waving enthusiastically, folks. He's very happy to be <laughs> but, here. Uh, he just gave us a fist pump. He's very excited. He's very, very excited. Um, so listen, that's what I, I really see. Students have really solidified. And come alive to who they are at MCTS. They're back in September when we did our September podcast. They're still getting a feel. Yep. yep. And now they're dude. They're I, have you started getting it, Orf? Can I stay here all day? Can, I hear it. Hear it all the time. And people think we make that up. I don't make that up. I've been here twenty years plus. You've been here a long time. The kids come to us and say, can I just stay here all day? I love it here. They love it. They're having a great time. And you know why? The teachers. Yeah, They love the teachers. They love interacting with kids from all over the county. They're making new friends now. It's happening. It's gelling. And I think you're going to hear that with our student of the week. I I mean, I'm just hypothesizing that might be coming around a turn and and this similar components that we're discussing right here. But yeah, yeah, we got we got a nice student a week coming up for you and uh, a couple quick announcements before we get underway. Um, Let's start with uh, a couple of uh, admissions related events. Um, We have a district info session, uh, a live one in person one. Uh, at our Assen Pink Center, 1085 so Old Trenton Road. So useful. If you're curious at all, if you have questions about the programs, uh, come see it. The guy who runs these sessions is <laughs> is uh, good looking and informative. <laughs> um, and that's at 6 p.m. on November 9th. If you choose not to attend a live session, there's also a virtual session on November 30th. Um, links, links are on our website right now. So just, just click on that link on the night of the event, no RSVP, no sign up. just click that link and attend district tour, November 16th. That's for counselors and CST people from all over the County. Come, uh, we will take you around to all of our shops. You're going to meet the teachers hear What's going on. That's for counselors and CST people. Nash. Yeah. I mean, then we had our business partner of the year. We awarded today uh, Genesis Biotech, Dr. Mordecai and his team. If you're listening to this, just do a quick Google search. It'll blow your mind about this company that's anchored right in the center of Hamilton, right by the marketplace. You've driven by the the monument, the the, the little symbol, the the sculpture right out front of Genesis Biotech. What don't they do? Everything. Yeah, it's they it's scientific research that is funded by multifaceted uh, company conglomerates. And that's a big mouthful, but that's what they do. And that's how they do it. Uh, the team is going to be here today that they're acquiring the Lamberville station, Lamberville station, iconic restaurant. Oh yeah. Iconic. I mean, been around it forever. He just bought that and their team is taking it over. Their hospitality team is taking it over. That lobster bisque will knock your socks Come off. Come on, buddy. Sorry to talk Come about on. food. Why do you, you got to do that to me? <laughs> Kick me in the shins. You start talking about it. my dad bod starts to growl. So, that we celebrated Genesis Biotech as our business partner for 2021. 
uh, Wayne Susser and the crew came on board, not just hospitality, but they have a construction wing. They have uh, medical, they have laboratory. They have, uh, it, it's just really endless. And I hate to say it. Jump back in the time machine. If you want to go back and have a listen, we, we interviewed uh, some people from the, Absolutely. from the team at Genesis. Uh, I think April, April or May of last year. Um, a recruiter. Yes. Yes. That's exactly right. One of the recruiters was on our campus. So so had to be uh, had to be around that time. Yeah, April, May, definitely. Yeah. Um, next, a uh, couple couple more uh, just general business. We are closed for teachers' convention. Um, all of our teachers are going to uh, get a much deserved break. Um, some of them are probably going down to Atlantic City and for they're the convention. Learn, learn learn all kinds of new tactics, learn and all techniques. kinds of new things. Yes, absolutely. That's uh, November fourth and fifth next week, Thursday and Friday. And I might as well mention the uh, the Thanksgiving holiday break. Um, you earned it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to eat that day. I think I, listen, everybody, a little quick tip off. I think a little bird told me that our culinary department is doing pre-made sides and Thanksgiving dinner available. And listen, this is not macaroni and cheese. Our kids do an amazing job. Our culinary. It, this is top shelf opportunity for you to lessen your workload for Thanksgiving. I can tell you a little secret. Mrs. Nash and I often take advantage of this. You know, we get the bird from from ShopRite or, or uh, Lee's Turkey Farm. Actually, we buy a fresh turkey from Lee's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, the reality is, is the sides, they're going to do the sides program again. So once oh, that flyer great. comes up, it's a no brainer or if, if you're airing this. Sometimes even if I'm, we're going to make our own Thanksgiving dinner, yes. even if we do, yep. I still get the sides. They're so good. I just get them. I either augment what we're already yes. doing or yes. I have it a couple of days later. Listen, you got to nice. get the, you got to get the pro tip out every once in a while. We, we got to you got to be a player's player. Word of the wise folks. You cannot go wrong with that stuff. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, all the good, all the good carb meals. It, it, listen, and here's the thing. You don't have to do it. You don't have to cook it. And it is made by a professional team of culinarians. That's Go. exactly right. Sorry, I get excited about the food. Me too. We, my mouth is already watering. Folks, we'll be right back with our student of the week right after this. And now it's time for student of the week. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've got a very, very cool student of the week. Um, and, and Nash, this, this student of the week segment is going to go a long, long way towards dispelling that rumor or that old <laughs> adage that you have to choose between Mercer County Technical Schools and going to college. Uh, you really can do both. And, and our student of the week uh, is living proof. Let's welcome Megan Molinelli. I, th- I think Megan's shattering the glass ceiling that that really encapsulated MCTS many, many years ago. So, Megan, welcome. Thank you. Um, tell myself a little about myself. Yeah, um, please do. Yeah, I like that. You're doing, <laughs> she jumped look, right you're doing it already. <laughs> she, she was shy initially. Now she's like, look, let me, let me, let tell, me tell you about, you about myself. Man, I've never done this before. <laughs> I, <yeah. laughs> she's a ringer. Orf. Good God. All right, go ahead, Meg. All right, so I am a senior at Heistown High School, and I've been playing lacrosse since the fourth grade. Oh, wow. Yep. And this upcoming fall, 2022, I will be going to Caldwell University up in Caldwell, Jersey. Oh, wow. Um. I will be playing lacrosse there, and I got a really good scholarship. I'm proud of it. My parents are proud of me. <laughs> My friends are proud of me. I'm proud of myself. And, and, and let's just dispel that whole thing. How? What did you have to give up, and how hard did you have to work to get a scholarship? Because there's well, a lot. I bump into a lot of kids who are like, "Oh yeah, I'm playing D1," and I'm like, "Dude, do you know what you got to do? Please share with our listening audience." Yeah. Well, so basically, like, I train a lot. Mm-hmm. I practice, I coach, I play myself mm-hmm. on and off season. So, so you, you immerse yourself. Yeah. Uh, uh, I make sure that I stay in the loop with everything that I'm always. Mm-hmm. You're sharpening yourself constantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And your trainer, you, you, you're, there's foods that you can eat and foods that you can't eat. Um, honestly, it's not about what you can eat and what you can't eat. It's yes. more or less how you work on yourself. Love it. When mm-hmm. you're eating certain things. So say you have like a fatty night, you take, take out something like that. Sure. You always got to work harder the next day to make sure you burn that off. Or mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. Just uh, no, no, I, I, you and I should take notes on that, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm, listen, I'm a dad, not a fad. My <laughs> grinding days are over. Don't worry. My dad's been trying to get back into things. He's doing like pushups every night, all that stuff. And he still eats his ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's, <laughs> hey, 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 you got to work for it. So, it's all a right, guilty so, pleasure. Listen, you, so you're, you're neck deep in the cross. You're super passionate. Mm-hmm. You, you do the work. As yes. they say, you do the heavy lifting because it, it never comes easy. And a lot of times our guys and girls here uh, we're bumping into on campus. You're first of all, myth number one dispelled. 
it's not easy. And it, it was something that you put in your forefront and you wanted to make it your number one. Yeah. So basically my mom is behind me with everything. So she's the one putting me in clinics and camps and having the trainer for myself. Mm-hmm. I'm just doing the work. Yep. She's yeah, yeah. putting me there and I'm doing it. So okay. well, she's, she's, it's a, it's a two way street and you're, mm-hmm. I'm hearing that you're appreciative of that by sharing and bringing mom and dad into it, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So how did you get here? Like, so, so. And, and let me back up a bit. Did, I don't know if you said this already, Megan, but Megan is a uh, oh. a senior in our, our criminalistics program. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. PM. You did say Heightstown High School. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Answer answer Mr. Nash's question. How, how did you come how to did, us? How, how, how did, did you we, get to MCTS? How did we get this kid? You know? how, does a, how does a lacrosse guru, somebody that's <laughs> super driven, who's on that that athletic pathway since you were on fourth grade and you were driven, how did you end up here? Basically, I was interested in the nursing program back at a Sun Pink, um, mm-hmm. and I talked to my guidance counselor about it, and she said that since I'm all involved with like criminal justice, and that's what I kind of want to do in college, she was like, there's a criminalistics program. And you're I, like, hey. And I was so surprised. I was like, I got to hop onto this, and she helped me get into it, and then I talked to my mom about it, and she was like, yeah, just you know, try it out, try, see it how, out. try it out, see how it works. And, yep. and that's what we hear often. So, and you are in fact going to study that in college. I am. I'm going to be majoring in criminal justice and minoring in psych. I love it. So. Wow. And and who is that counselor? Let's hear that counselor's name. Miss Funera. Nicole Funero. Ace. Yes, sir. Puts the fun in Funero. <laughs> Dude, yes, she kills absolutely. it. She's a, uh, listen, moms and dads listening, students listening. Your guidance counselor in your homeschool is a huge resource. And I, a lot of people know that, but a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, they're dealing with three, 400 people. How can they help me? Mm-hmm. So your, your best in your case example is, hey, I'm interested in this. Where can I get this? And whatever that fill in the blank is, whether MCTS offers it or it's an elective at your homeschool. But I guarantee what we offer here and what you've experienced, a lot of times there is a, 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 a law course or a criminal course, mm-hmm. but is it taught by Two former police officers that were, I mean, these guys are heavy hitters. Tell us about your teachers. Yeah, talk about Mr. Yeah, Benner and Mr. So Humble. Mr. Benner and Mr. Humble, they make the class fun. Like, I honestly, when I got back for in-person from mm-hmm. being on remote learning for the longest time, um, it was like, I kind of didn't want to do it when I got there at first. And then when I started to get to know them personally mm-hmm. for being in their class, like, it helped me a lot. I understood that like they were there to help me. Okay. So the walls Instead came just, down, the relationship started to form, mm-hmm. you immersed yourself and, and you, you embraced it. And they're, they're two similar, but yet different. Yeah. They're, they're the same, but they're also, <laughs> their, di- their names is both Wayne. So, <laughs> you know, the first names are both Wayne. So therefore it's the same. <laughs> they're the same person, just, you know, different. Well, and, and there's so much to be said where you have career police officers, you know, guys that have been through a couple of decades uh, they, they, they serve their town that they lived in. They were passionate with the, the people in the town of all different socio and economic backgrounds. I mean, I've talked to Wayne and I've talked Wayne's plural. They're both <laughs> named Wayne. But um, <laughs> the reality is, is you guys get the sense that when you're in the classroom, which is uh, mm-hmm. absolutely amazing. And I can't imagine the stories in the court. Yeah. Mr. Bender has stories for literally everything. We have a current event. And he's like, oh yeah, when I, <laughs> back in my day, like we sure. had this and that. And I'm like, Man, this guy's got a story for everything. Oh, and, and then, and, like Mr. Hummel, he was he was, was saying how he was a police officer for my town. East he was. Windsor, he was so. East Windsor. Yeah. He was East, East Windsor, Windsor police. Yeah, That's like right. he was like saying all the streets, and I was like, "How does he know that?" And he was like, I was, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "I was part of the East Windsor Police Department." And I was like, "Oh, oh wow!" It's so it's it's relative. It's connective, mm-hmm. and 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 when you first come here, do you feel as if you're a fish out of water? I mean, like, w- what is this place, and is it different? Honestly, like with so many people in my class from different places, like Mm -hmm. I connect with them so well. Mm -hmm. I've been to some of my classmates games outside of school. How cool is that? I've talked to them outside of school. We have projects. So it's more like a collegiate environment. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It's kind of like a start to college, I guess. It is. It's a precursor because when you go, when you go to school next year, you know, this already Mm -hmm. figured it out. People get dropped in there from everywhere doing everything. They have a different family life, a different social life, a different uh, economic background. And you all come together and you're like, hey, we're in this together. We're going to have a great time, especially yeah. your teammates. It's always fun. Yeah, it's cool. So. All the time. Very nice. Megan, this is this is great. I uh, I can't believe you were nervous about coming in here and talking to you. Like I a, was a little you're bit. You're like a pro. You're like Listen, a pro. Uh, she's a ringer or she, <laughs> she was a carpet bagger. She came in here and hammered us. <laughs> when do you sign that letter of intent with Caldwell? 
Um, so National Signing Day is November 10th, okay. and I have been speaking with my coach a lot about it, and she said that she has to just send me a letter, and if I can't get it into her, like, I would have to give it into her in seven days within being sent to me and having it being sent back. So if I can't do it during National Signing Day, I would have to do a mock letter at my high school, which That's is, fine. you know, just right. for a picture, I guess. Yeah. But... Basically, I'll just get that letter and then I'll have to sign it and it'll be official. Do me a favor, Megan. Once you once you do that, when you whether it's a mock letter or the or the real thing, mm-hmm. would you would you take a have a picture and, and send it to me of and course, Mr. Sikowski yeah. so we can put it up my, on, um, on social media? My mom and my dad will be there with me and then my personal trainer is gonna come too, so he'll be there. Hey, I think it's awesome. All right. Yeah. This is this is a great uh, a great a great student, uh, a great example of Thank all you. the great things you can do with Mercer County Technical Schools. A great person, Megan. It's very nice to get to know you and really Thank happy you. for you. Congratulations. Hey, Thank you so much. Exciting for you. This is awesome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Megan Mullinelli, your student of the week. Nash, I can't believe it's over already. Another exciting episode of the MCTS experience on the books. Did you blink? And we're at Thanksgiving, you blink, we're at Christmas and the holidays, and then you blink and the show's over. I mean, here we go. Yep, winter break. Oh my God, it's already graduation. The year is over. It's <laughs> done. <laughs> we're right there. <laughs> this year is going by so fast, and, and it's it's because we're all here together. And we love it. We're learning, we're doing the hands-on instruction, and life is great. <laughs> so um, please, uh, in, in the meantime, do... Uh, and by the way, big, big thanks to Megan Molinelli, our student of the week. Great job. Yes. Great job out of her. Um, and uh, uh, our business partners, of course, congratulations to Genesis Biotech. Um, and, and of course, uh, Nick MacGyver Sikowski, always making it happen it, behind the boards. Holding it down. Holds the it down. The glue that holds it all together. Um, I'd like to remind our listeners to please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest, uh, especially Instagram. We're trying to pick that up a little bit. So uh, everybody, uh, everybody get on there. Tell a friend. Um, share this podcast and like it and listen to it with a friend um, or, or share it with a friend. Google Play, Spotify, and iTunes. Check out our YouTube channel. Lots of fun stuff there for you. Uh, student videos. Got another good one coming up for you very, very soon. And um, uh, always go to our website for any information about Plus, admissions. Can you apply? Apply on that website. A little drop down says apply online. Uh, create- if you were a parent of a student, if you were a kid and you were thinking about applying, would you apply right now? This is the greatest time to apply. A week ago was the greatest time. So now you got to go. Since that time has passed, now is the best time to apply. And I'm not kidding, Nash. Record-breaking enrollment numbers this year. People are applying. People well, they see the applying. value. They see the value. They do see the value. I, I've met so many great students uh, going into the high schools and uh, presenting about these programs and more and more and more to come. So we, we look forward to it. Um, and we look forward to seeing all of you here next year when you apply online at our website, mcts.edu. Um, in the meantime... Uh, On behalf of myself and my partner in crime, uh, the great Dave Nash and Nick MacGyver Zakowski, this is Mr. Orff reminding you to discover your passion and unlock your future.